Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, putting my flywheel clutch, uh, pressure plate, pilot bearing in. Uh, that way I can get this thing in my 85 820 truck, uh, which does have a Muncie four speed. Uh, it is a SM465 transmission. And I had a hard time figuring out my pilot bearing in the depths. And so I came up with this all-star. I've, I've got the bearing out. It's soaking in some oil. Um, I've soaked it for two days. Um, just something I like to do on all my pilot bearings because it's not a bearing, it's a bushing. So pilot bushing. Um, if you guys need help, I've, I've had to buy like three different bushings and bearings to figure out which was the right one. And this one works best. Um, the number is six, or excuse me, the number is 26112. It's made by All Star Performance. Um, it's, it's a long pilot bushing. The reason for, there's two areas here, two sections you can put a, a bearing. There's the first section, which is an LS, LS1 bearing, but I need to go the second route because my transmission has to go further, uh, the input shaft has to go further into the transmission. And if you put the uh, pilot bearing that went flush with the section first, or the second pole here, um, you'd be only riding about, oh, three sixteenths, uh, the input shaft would be riding. And uh, I didn't feel good about that. Some guys, they're okay with that, but I, I wanted a little more. Um, let me take this guy out of the oil. I'll kind of show you. Um, I need to go freeze this before we put it in. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, but I wanted to talk about this first. Um, see, it's got a step. Um, I like this bearing. It is a one inch bearing. Um, and it's like 1.07 in diameter here. And it's uh, like a, what is it? It might say on this paper, it's like a two, no, it doesn't say, but it's uh, like a two nine uh, pilot in here. So what I liked about it is I got another quarter of an inch of material. So I'm, I'm getting a good, uh, probably, what is it? I, I figured it was, Get, I'm getting a good 7 sixteenths and I feel pretty good about that. Um, the thing will only really fit about a half of an inch so I wanted the most space for that input shaft to ride on. Um, don't need any bearings going out or causing any problems with this motor later but uh, trying to keep the longevity of the tranny. But. Um, I'm gonna go stick this in the freezer for a few hours and we'll come back and we'll install this and uh, see how she's doing. Hey guys, so I let this thing in some ice and uh, set it in the freezer for a little bit. I just left it in some ice till I get ready to install it. But this thing's cold. It's about 15 degrees right now. So hopefully work out. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. I've got a socket and a hammer. Uh, maybe we can zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. I'm basically just going to take this guy, stick him right in here, just like so. And Got it in there, looks really good. Very happy with it. Should work out awesome. Went, went right in with it being frozen. Sweet, let's go ahead, put the flywheel on. Okay guys, well I got this flywheel. 
Uh, it's a Speedmaster. Um, here is the number. It's an LS1 168 tooth uh, SF1 flywheel. The number is 256 dash one two two nine zero one five I got this from Speedway Motors um, the cool thing about this one is it has different locations for the pressure plate to fit so very adaptable um, you can do I think an 11 to a 12 inch clutch with this so I am putting an 11 on but you can go to 12 uh, these are the the thread is a 3 8 uh, ASC thread so basically what I have here is the old um, flex plate uh, bolts that come off my small block they just thread right in these holes so that's I didn't know that I ordered metric bolts and they're not metric I thought they'd be metric and found out that these will work great um, I do have to run a washer it's not quite as thick but uh, we'll go ahead and get this going so there is an extra hole which needs to line up right there uh, there's supposed to be a pin that goes in there but I don't have the pin, so. And the other thing I forgot about is I've got my bolts here. And these are the original flex plate bolts. Um, I'm going to use them for the flywheel. This thickness is the same, but I'm going to put some Loctite on them just will make me feel better. Let's get this guy set in there. Um, there it is, Speedmaster. It's an external balance. So, should be good. So, it took a lot of research to figure all this out. Kind of a pain. I hope this video really helps you guys because it was a pain. It seriously was. This is so it's a 15 millimeter. And there's 74. So at this point, I'm going to lower it down, just so it doesn't move. Alright, so I'm going to take some brake cleaner here and clean this guy off. Here comes the fun part. I'm going to put the flex plate and clutch on. Um, I bought a Hayes Performance Clutch, good brand. Um, this is a 9101004. Um, I purchased this one. It's a 450 horsepower clutch kit, and it works for 55 to 85 GM six and eight cylinders. So um, you could buy probably a lower quality clutch or just it's just a stock clutch that's the nice thing about this flywheel it adapts to a stock clutch you don't have to have a custom clutch made so um, everything that's standard in it you got your your alignment tool here and your disc throttle bearing but let's go ahead and get this disc put on
Now we're going to torque these to 35 foot pounds. Well, guys, I got that in. Um, now this guy can come out, but it should just line right up with that pilot hole. So, if that helps you at all, I still got to over and install the throw out bearing but it's dark now we'll do that tomorrow and uh, then we'll get this thing set in make sure everything lines and all my measurements are right but I'm a hundred percent sure on it so uh, should work out um, hit subscribe check out more of my videos and thank you guys for watching I appreciate it and uh, Hopefully this helps you out because some of these parts were hard to combine, you know. The clutch kit wasn't bad, but I wasn't sure if I had to go with the same stock style clutch or if I had to have something custom made, but yeah, this, this is gonna be sweet, so. Um, but watch tomorrow. All right, just installing the throw out bearing, adding a little grease so it doesn't bind. Um, but everything went smoothly engine went in like butter didn't have a problem slid right in uh, pilot bearing and all that worked out awesome hey if you guys have any questions uh, hit me up in the comments or hit subscribe and check out more of what I'm doing uh, I really appreciate it thanks guys